Good morning everyone. It's Saturday morning and I'm going to do a little bit of a day in the life. Um, I've also got a couple of videos that I need to film. I went to Marks and Spencers um, about a week ago now actually and um, I still haven't hauled that. In fact it's still signed the bag waiting for me to do it and I have a Timo haul to do that has like is a, um, a collaboration with Timu. It's only small, um, so I'm going to do those today. Um, but I thought I'd just pop on a second morning. I'm using a different foundation. Now, this I got from Amazon. I'll pop the link in the description box for you. It's really nice. It's Catrice HD Liquid Coverage. Um, it's a 24 hour one, and I got it in the shade. Um, 040 which is warm beige and it's mattifying water and sweat proof with niacinamide um, you've got 30 mils here and um, it's lovely it's the first time I've actually worn it so I don't know sort of how long it wears or anything like that but I've just popped it on just popped a little bit on and I just put it on with my fingers and it feels really 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 nice um, and I saw that uh, Rockstar Mum over on YouTube I'll link her channel below in the description box lovely lady Patty um, she she got this as well um so yeah i thought i'd give it a go because you know great recommendations so that's that um my mascara is an old mascara that i've had from timu a long time now but what i like about it is just how skinny that little wand is the little brush so it really gets sort of into the really lashes um my eyebrow pencil that I'm using today is by uh, Lisa Armstrong, which is an Avon one, which unfortunately they've been discontinued now. Um, I'm going to pop a little bit of bronzer on. This one is just a little Timu one. I mean, I've got others like Charlotte Tilbury and stuff like that, but sometimes I like, you know, just try things, play around with things. So that, I'm going to just pop a little bit of that on. Um, cheekbone there. Sorry about the dog barking. Somebody walking past, I expect. But it wouldn't be a video of mine, would it, unless there was a dog barking. A little bit under there. And then I do sort of tend to go around there a little bit. That is it. Um, actually, what I might do is pop a little bit of this on my eyes. Um, excuse the grey in my hair. It desperately, desperately needs colouring. And I've got, um, I've got a hair dye that I need to do. I need to colour it. Um, okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of the contour into the crease of my eye there. Just go above a little bit. So it looks like the crease is higher. I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just doing chores and videos. <laughs> so it's probably what's made me do it. Just the fact that I've got to do some videos. Otherwise, I often do not bother. As you know. Right, so that is that. Um, I'm going to go in with this, and I think this is like a little Timu one as well, I think. And I'm just going to go with the lighter colour, this one here, and I'm just going to, I know I've done my mascara. I'm just going to pop it there and just a little bit there 
a little bit there. Just to sort of brighten it up a little bit. like I need a bit more mascara. This again is another two move on. Look how pretty it is. Just gonna just pop a little bit more on the tips with my lashes. Then I'm going to use, this is a lipstick I've recently got from Timu, and I mean look at that packaging, isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful isn't it? And it's one of those where it changes colour on your lips, um, and what I did the other day, because obviously I'm not going to wear lipstick that colour, but how cool would it be if you could? <laughs> um, but it changes colour according to the pH on your lips, so let's do that. pretty is that and then what I did the other day is I actually popped a little bit on my cheek here as like my blush obviously you don't put too much because I mean it's going to really sort of change I mean it changes straight away since you put it on your skin but um I thought it looked quite pretty I've got a hair it's annoying me somewhere. I've got the fan on behind you as well, so if you hear that noise, then apologies. <gasps> Look, it's a lovely, lovely little lippy. Look how pretty it is as well. Um, that's it. That's the makeup I'm wearing today. Not a lot. Um, I also wanted to share this with you. Um, a while back, uh, we went away to Dorchester for like a long weekend um and i did show you i did a review on these two eye creams which are lovely so you've got like the um the serum and the cream these two well they've sent me the neck and decollete cream as well and it is lovely i mean i've done i've done the skincare today already but i will just sort of show you um i'll just pop a little bit sort of here because obviously i've got my uh contour going down a bit but that's what the cream looks like and it's very sort of light and cool and sort of gel consistency look and it's so nice and so, of course, I will put all the details down in the description box of this because, oops, it is just so nice. As I say, it's so cooling as well. And it just sort of goes in so quickly. It absorbs into your skin like, like you know, just really quick. Mind you, I suppose I've got dry skin, but um, yeah. And it's so affordable as well. So I'll pop the link for this in the description box as well. But Amazon Jobby and um, it's a great price for a great product. Um, I'll also pop the video that I did for the, um, the eye creams for the review for those. I'll pop that in the description box as well. So you could go and have a look at that as well as you'd like to. Um, okay, so my hair. Oh gosh, it's such a need for um a color i've decided to change the clips I'm going in with these little tiny ones because i put an oil in my hair yesterday in the shower i uh, yesterday i had a lovely soak in the bath yesterday and um i put an oil in my hair to sort of try and you know moisturize it a lot condition it a lot 
and it has it's lovely but it's so silky now um, but I wanted to like do that really before I put a color on so I'll probably do that I might even do it tonight I don't know we will see um, but I'll put a couple of these little these little tiny clips in because they sort of hold it a little bit better and I'll pop one up here just to hold that up there as well these were too new like there's loads in there that big the whole bag I just went for the clear ones but honestly too new are great for all this sort of like little things like this you know Well, as you know, you can get so much on there, can't you? Um, so there we go. That'll do. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm actually... So I've got videos to do. And I want to clean out under the stairs today as well. Now the job to be done. Right. Put them away. I now need to make the bed and get dressed. See you in a jiff. Okay. So bed's made. Dressed. And perfume, I never go a day without perfume. I have to wear a bit of perfume every day. It's just something I've always, always done. And if you're looking for really reasonably priced perfume, this is from Next. Uh, look at the top, it's really pretty. Lovely bottle and it's called Sparkle. Weirdly. <laughs> but my goodness me, I just douse myself. It is a stunning perfume right go downstairs shall we i cleaned the washing machine the other day um so it's all nice and clean you sort of have to keep on top of cleaning your washing machine don't you i sort of do it probably properly once a month i give it white prams but uh properly once a month they're just the rugs and that in there Drawers all clean, and I pop a bit of this in, especially if it's anything to do with like the, the dogs have been laying on. So the Dettol laundry sanitizer, pop a bit of that in. Pop a bit of the Lenore in. What's this one? Cherry blossom and rose water. Pop a bit of that in. Oops. There we go. Don't want it too low, don't want it high. Use the time down. Right, it's now lunchtime, so it's been a little while. Um, I'm going to put some foil at the bottom of the air fryer and I'm going to pop some fish fingers in. I've used the, um, like the little, like the paper things that you can put in the bottom of your air fryer. I don't like them, can't get on with them properly. I've also used the silicone ones. Oh, they were a nightmare because the food just gets caught in, like in the oils and stuff in, like the um, in the grooves. There we go. So what we're going to have? We're going to have fish fingers. With calamari and um, the focaccia sliced sort of breads here to make almost like a well it will be like a fish finger sandwich um, and then tonight we're just going to have a very light sort of tea tonight I guess so I've got one of those ro uh, one of those loaves of bread from Asda that you bake in the oven um, so I'm going to do that and we're just going to have it with like pate on toast or something tonight So, guy, look at me bending down. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to have. It's 25 past two now, so by the time it's ready, it's going to be quite a late lunch. Um, so, we're going to have that. And then, as I said tonight, that um, crusty bread with some butter and pate on, a glass of wine, um, maybe a dessert, I don't know, and uh, watch Saturday night on the TV, which is always, wow, I'm loving it right now. Right, that's clothes on the stairs ready to go up. Um, actually I've got a dress that I need to take up as well. Uh, let me just pop 
the cloth for the mop away. Chris quite likes things like that, like a sausage sandwich, that sort of thing. Um, anyway, calamari is going in, I think. Right, I've got tartar sauce here to go in then. Um, I'm going to have one, and Luke and Chris will have one and a half. They are already split for you. do them because there's only three there so I'll just do them anyway. Life threatening or anything like that but it makes him really really dizzy he has cucumber. Some with no reason even like as a child he was exactly the same. I do need to use up some of these little tomatoes, so I might pop some of those on the plate. I've just found some sausages in the little chocolates, rather, in the fridge. I need to use these, so I will uh, take out one of the foils, lay another piece down, and uh, cook those afterwards. They need to be cooked, so. These were washed before I put them in the container, guys, so they're fine. Looking at the avocados over there, I think uh, Luke will probably be more inclined to have avocado on toast. I might have avocado on toast tonight as well. We do love it. Especially if you then put a few like little chili flakes on top. Scrummy. I absolutely hate waste and I've got some more tomatoes in the fridge so let's get these used.
a little bit longer now for the uh, fish fingers, guys. Tartar sauce in. I tend to only buy small ones of these now, the tartar sauce, because then I just use it in one meal rather than have like a big jar and then have half the jar sat there and then I end up throwing it. Salt and pepper in case any anyone wants some on the like tomatoes. And I'll pop back when the fish fingers are done. Um, about seven minutes or so and I'll be back. Right guys, I'm about to embark on my lunch. Let me show you what it looks like. Hold on, I'm trying not to get you too crooked. So there we go, got my fish fingers, a few bits of calamari, some salad, peppery rocket on this half. Then I'm gonna fold it over and make a big fish finger sandwich with it. Yum. Um, I have just done the Marks and Spencers haul, so look out for that one. I'm going to go and do the tea meal. I'm going to go upstairs. Um, in fact, I've got a couple to do. One that was gifted to me like in collaboration and one that I bought myself. Um, it's dark in the lounge because we watched, we watched Corrie from like last night and uh, the sun was blaring through the window and you just couldn't you couldn't see the screen properly so we drew the curtains um so yeah just waiting for chris to come back in to sort of measure that and i'll show you what that looks like here's your good girl where's my fussy here's your pretty 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 mommy how's your pants what are you doing baby what are you doing are you got your toy what you got oh yeah clever you are a clever girl where are you going with your baby where are you going Look at the state of it. Well, it was a lovely sloth once upon a time. Oh, I'll sat down now because of my back. Husband at work. <laughs> no, but I don't want to see any builders bum. So they look really nice, don't they? So when I've done the next toad store, I go to that side and then we kind of work. Do could you could do like this our way out. But yeah, I'm really pleased with those. And they came from Kino as well. So bargain, bargain price. I think they're about three pounds something each. The actual embroidery kit. Right, there it goes. Ten minutes later we have lovely warm 
crusty chocolate bread for Master. Mm.